will be a very uh, basic one, but um, it's a nice thing that uh, we are like kind of ending the circle. My colleague from Lithuania, he started this conference with his uh, presentation about um, entering the painting of Cirlonis. And I understood that we from Lithuania, I think we are very arty because our project is very arty too. So I'm Ruta. I will talk about uh, our VR film that's now its name on the stage. So I am the part of Cluster Nebula, and Nebula gathers industry prof professionals all together, and the goal is to translate connections into real business deals. And um, as a nice bunch of uh, different individuals from creativity studios, production house, animator studios, we wanted to found out some unique product that we could represent ourselves in the best ways. And we were sitting and thinking what it could be, what could represent us with all our talents and something that we could do as Unite team. And uh, then we meet a cross motion, um, like sessions of creativity. And we come with idea to make a VR platform that would be dedicated for heritage buildings in which, uh, which one would be for education. You can find info about the heritage, the pictures, how it used to be, how it is now, the nice text of the architects, and so on and so on. And uh, another the idea of this uh, platform was um, to use it for tourism, that people could experience hiding places secrets, like go through the window into some places they would never, could never enter. So what we need for that? We need concept, web, and content. It sounds very easily. So we are talented people, the bunch of talented, great studios, it's, it's not a big deal. And starting from concept for the web, we entered with idea for VR content because um, we just understood that the best thing that we all can do is to create movies. And uh, we thought that we will create the 360 movie with intellectual narrative. We will capture those films in actual locations, telling story inspired by actual locations. Again, it sounds very easy and still uh, you can do lots of stuff with that. And we start working. In Vilnius, we have a really nice uh, old uh, location, so tentacle ones that everybody would like to enter, like Visaginas nuclear power plant. We thought we will make a movie about uh, beauty context. It would be comedy, and you could enter that uh, place in very um, funny stories. And Vilnius Sport and Culture Palace, again, it's very abundant now, but very nice place where you can't uh, go and uh, VR could take you there. And then we stopped with our National Lithuania Drama Theatre uh, because they are going through reconstruction and uh, they said, OK, take our building, let's uh, see what you can do it. And uh, we came there with our crew to start our project. So what we need to film a short film. We need script, team, equipment, and workflow plan. We all are here from one or other way from a management side. So again, it sounds very, very simple thing. So does anyone know people who works with the scripts for VR films? Nobody does that. You know that? <laughs> okay. So we made a contest to film schools. We made a we asked for the script agencies. We said, okay, we have money, we have authentic building, we want to story take place in that authentic building. Please give us a script, we will produce it. We get 20 scripts about vampires, about uh, car crashing, and about everything, but not about theater, not about anything what is culture, and nothing what we could use for VR. And when we thought, okay, that's a problem, so we sit down and we wrote a script. Uh, theater helped us a lot with that. And then we faced the shooting days, 
And we had another question. Do we have equipment that could work creating VR, not as experience, but as a short film? We don't have tools for editing. We don't have lenses that can work not only for HD, but work as a movie, as for a short films. So again, there was a lot of questions and a lot of lessons for us to learn. But we made it. We made a VR short film. Um, now it's in a post-production. Now we are doing sound and editing. And from now, as we can see it, we can use it for education because we film authentic building of Litvina Natural Drama Theatre that now is under reconstruction and it's totally changed. So new generations can see how it was inside and outside before innovation. Uh, in the film with intelligent narrative, we can see biggest Lithuania theatre legends on the stage acting the best uh, parts of the uh, best place they ever took part on. And we are suggesting to enter actor's mind and facing the stage fright. And for tourism, we can uh, give a chance people to experience places that are forbidden for strangers and can get to know more about how it used to look, what is the story between the lines, and really feel as a local one inside. So this a few screenshots from our film. It's one of the biggest stars of Lithuania, uh, our actor. He is playing director who is giving the hard times for the actor before the actor goes on the stage and forgets the minds, forgets all the lines, and this is a uh, screenshot from entering the stage. You can see all the 70, 100 people sitting there and waiting for you to tell something and you don't know what to tell. And all our actors in the best characters. And uh, now we are planning to send our film to VR Film Festival, to give it to VR Film Platforms and to give us a present to actual location and to keep going with another authentic locations uh, and trying to find the best stars that we can shoot on them. Thank you.